mushrooms in skincare. Can this be a new exciting thing? Can it be that mushrooms will answer some of your skincare needs? Well, I've tried some of these and in this video I'm giving you my honest opinion. Hi, my name is Custodio. I work in the skincare industry for the last 30 years of my life, the last 12 in product development. Here at DH Traveler, I try to shake up ideas, see if they stand skincare ideas, and ask the question, what is that skin wanted just before all the marketing got in the way? So, mushrooms are not animals, and they are not plants. They are actually a third kingdom fungi. And I would not be surprised that a lot of medical solutions and beautiful molecules which will find ways out of many of our troubles and headaches are actually coming from the fungi kingdom, from mushrooms and yeasts. Let's not forget that penicillin, maybe the most famous mushroom, actually a yeast, yeasts are unicellular mushrooms. So let's wrap them all in this very mysterious world because that's what they are. They are about mystery. And recently, we see more talking about uh, food supplements, superfoods coming from uh, the mushroom realm, and they also enter skincare, of course. So if you're curious about mushrooms, which I am very curious about mushrooms, I will advise you and link it down below, a book from a British uh, biologist, I have the book here, which has this uh, enchanted name, Entangled Life. And this is probably from all books I read in my life about mushrooms. It's about biology, ecology, and uh, the various uh, mysteries surrounding the fungi kingdom. But I think it's extremely educational. It's written, and I'm not a biologist, uh, so it's written in a language which is fine for any curious, slightly intelligent person can read. It's not about skincare, but it will make you very, very curious about this fungi kingdom. So I was saying that uh, it's obvious that mushrooms come more as a hot topic in uh, food supplements and also becoming more so in skincare. I think it's, it's a typical thing that uh, the skincare industry, for which I have a love and hate relationship, what I hate is that we jump often fast and furious and high above the clouds uh, from medicinal systemic, systemic meaning something you swallow and acts with your own digestive and your metabolism. We jump very quickly to a topical application assuming that it's very simple and it's like 2 plus 2 equals 4, the topical application of the same extract will deliver benefits. And here it's where I think we should approach this discussion about uh, using skincare uh, with mushrooms. I have absolutely no doubt, uh, personally, as my own guinea pig uh, about, and if some colleagues from the office are watching this video, I'm sure they're going to be laughing by now because I'm known in the company for drinking from a company for Sigmatic a lot of um, elixirs and uh, complexes of uh, mushrooms together with coffee, together with tea. So I make my potions in the office every day because I'm a firm believer in adaptogens. So the fact that some mushrooms um, carry this capacity to modulate inflammation, so to keep inflammation at bay, I'm very obsessed with inflammation chain reactions as the main cause of aging. If you are curious, there is a video here from the past which is exactly talking about uh, Madeka suicide, inflammation and everything which can keep at bay. Well, systemically speaking, mushrooms are known for that, for modulating inflammation, keeping uh, the expression of some stress uh, hormones, typically cortisol, um, they antagonize the overexpression of cortisol. So in other words, they keep you zen 
and there's medicinal mushrooms. So I'm talking only about the legal mushrooms, even though the cover of the book has this magic mushroom, of course, to jump out of the shelves. But we're talking about legal mushrooms. And the most famous one is reishi, which is the mushroom normally for the zen effect. I was just mentioning keeping the cortisol low. You have lion's mane, which is a mushroom more for focus and memory, uh, cordyceps for energy boost, and finally chaga, which became since COVID more known because it's a booster for immunity and defenses. So a lot of people became more aware of chaga. So some of these are entering skincare. And I think the idea, main idea that makes sense is uh, anti-inflammatory. So this only confirms, and that's why my sympathetic look and curiosity for mushrooms, that uh, being anti-inflammatory, it's something that all good skincare should be. So as always, my, my videos are not sponsored. These are some of the Four Sigmatic products. I will also link it below so you can explore a little bit. And now they finally came out with some skincare. And that's the review I'm doing. They have three products. I have the pictures here, the Superfood Serum, the mask and the butter, which is both for face and for body. Somehow the butter didn't make it to my trial, but I did try the mask and the serum. Beginning with the Superfood Serum, this is basically a uh, concoction of uh, olive oil and avocado oil. These food grade uh, oils are not my favorite for topical application. It's not totally a dry oil in the application. Of course, you can mix it together with some other skincare and make it uh, feel a little bit better. But the first drop feel that you have on your skin, it's literally of a vegetable oil because most of it is olive oil and avocado oil. Uh, Four Sigmatic is playing a lot on the idea of edible skincare. I think it's a genius marketing idea to say that your skincare is so clean, it's so pure that you can eat it. Actually, there is a catch here. This is not edible skincare. These are edible ingredients which are marketed as skincare. Do, do you get the catch here? So it's not a formulation of skincare. It's a food grade formulation and edible could be simply a food supplement, which then it's meant to be applied topical. So that's why there are no preservatives because both in the oil and in the mask, there is no water. The moment there is no water, you don't need preservation system. So you already eliminate a lot of the troubles from skincare to make it edible. This more raw, pure way to go about mushrooms, I think it leaves something uh, more to say and more to need. So when you think it's affordable, yes, it's affordable, but uh, together with some other skincare products, because if you're doing only these, most likely you are not really feeding your skin the most relevant elements. For sure, olive oil, avocado oil have uh, benefits for skin. They are safe and known uh, replenishing, nourishing ingredients. I personally prefer drier touch oil. So if you're gonna do an oil, I think the hazelnut oil base um, it's always a much better way to go or safflower. This tends to be a bit heavier. Then what you have is extracts from uh, reishi mushroom, so the zen mushroom, and also some ingredients related to more moisturizing and more replenishing. But it's basically a very simple formula, which I enjoyed using night time for a few nights. I have an oily skin. I'm not a big fan of oils regardless. So nothing against the Four Sigmatic. I think if you have a drier skin, this will be probably better for you. So the one I really liked, it's actually their face mask with Raishi, which is like a mono dose little sachet, exactly the same way they sell their mushroom extracts and their coffee. So each one corresponds to one application. It's a very DIY do-it-yourself feel because you mix it with water and you basically do this paste porridge, which then you apply here. It's the picture of the mixing. And just in case you expect it, I was saving myself for embarrassment. Here's a picture of the mask on the face. Again, a very high food grade type of formulation. I'm guessing then most than half of it is cocoa powder. That's the first ingredient. It's coconut powder is the second ingredient. Coconut milk is the third ingredient. So this represents the bulk of what's inside the sachet. And then you have 
200 milligrams of this and that ingredient. There is Centella Asiatica, which is the origin of um, Madeca Society, so a very good anti-inflammatory. Of course, there is a screaming difference between Madeca Society, which is a pharmaceutical grade, pure, isolated molecule, and the extract of Centella, where Madeca Society is present as a fraction, not as a pure active ingredient. But I would say for a younger skin, if you're not really addressing uh, age concerns and what you want, it's a boost, brightening, a bit purifying feel. Uh, cocoa, anyway, it's a good source of natural antioxidants. Speaking of antioxidants, next week, next Friday, we have the in-depth pyramid video about ant uh, antioxidants, where I'm talking about cellular antioxidants. I'm all for cocoa in my diet, in my food, without sugar, not chocolate. I'm talking about the pure cocoa mass without any other ingredient. You can have it as a bar, but it's one ingredient. It's packed with antioxidants and your body is going to do the biochemistry and the biotechnology to get those antioxidants. When it comes to topical application, cocoa in my book goes more to the end of the line and I prefer, and that's the theme of the next video. So my honest opinion, to close it, it's very simple. If you are curious, if you like the all natural route, this can be something to experiment. Two nice textures, two products, which I don't see any reason not to go for. If you want to go deeper into skincare and you need to address, like me, 50 years old, some more age visible age concerns i don't think that mushrooms are the one track to go today if i live another 50 years which i don't believe i will and even less do youtube videos unless you make me an important youtuber of course then maybe in a few decades we can talk differently because by then there is more evidence and there is more research because i'm also curious about what is the extraction method often there is very little information because for topical i could open up my mind more to tinctures of mushrooms meaning that you macerate there is an infusion in alcohol of mushrooms and then i'm sure where you get a bio availability because you solubilize whatever active molecules but as long as we talk about dry powder type of uh, extractions. I'm really very doubtful that the dry powder can deliver anything so bioavailable, especially if the, the galenic is so simplified, if it's not infused in some more permeating emulsion, a serum, something that penetrates deeper into the skin with some carry transport system, I really doubt that any of these can reach you. This video is mostly to answer the request of one of you, which I could not find because I was trying to find, but I lost that email where someone asked me for, uh, what about for Sigmatic uh, skincare? So I hope if you're still there, whoever wrote me, uh, I think two months ago, asking about a review on for Sigmatic, please write me back. I hope I answered your email. And for all the others, a good time to make the suggestion. Why not down there to request uh, whatever topics you would like to hear about? Because I said it, I'm 50 years old. And of course, I need inspiration because my head no longer works so fresh as a few years ago. So always, this is not boring skincare. This is novelty skincare. So you don't need to say no to the skincare, but you should say no to boring skincare. See you next week. Not only leave comments, but if you haven't done so, please subscribe the channel, activate the bell, so we see each other every Friday.